May 19th, just a couple of days away, when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle marry at Windsor Castle, a North Texas man has some insight into what is happening behind the scenes. As Jennifer Lindgren reports, the former chef for Queen Elizabeth and Princess Diana knows what it takes to throw a royal wedding feast. Chocolate to make my ganache. At home in Plano, Darren McGrady makes a bowl of cereal fit for a queen. Peaches, the queen has her own peaches growing at Windsor Castle. McGrady would know. We used to use them a lot at Buckingham Palace. Because cooking the Queen of England's breakfast was once his job. She can have bacon, egg, sausage, everything, but uh, she does. She has cereals for breakfast. In 1982, the royal wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer led him to the palace gates. So we slept outside the palace to watch the royal wedding. And that's when I thought, I want to be a chef in the royal kitchen. He applied, got the position, and spent 11 years working in the palace kitchens. Cooking for kings, queens, presidents. And preparing for royal weddings. No surprise here, McGrady says, those take a lot of planning. The head chef will meet uh, with the bride and groom, uh, just like a normal wedding, and find out what their favorites are. He's thrilled to see Prince Harry and Meghan Markle marry. I'm so excited. You know, I watched um, William and Harry grow up. McGrady was the personal chef for Princess Diana and her sons in the last years of her life. She came down to the kitchen at Windsor Castle, uh, carrying Prince Harry as a baby and said, hold Harry for me while I eat some cereals. And I thought, oh, literally holding the crown jewels. It was so scary. When Diana died in 1997, he moved to North Texas to be a private chef. He runs a catering company called Eating Royally Today. McGrady will be watching with the rest of the world this weekend. Will, will Meghan bring something American into it? We know she has already with the wedding cake. And this royal chef has an idea of at least one ingredient on the wedding celebration menu. The Queen's a chocoholic, so anything chocolate on the menu is, is, is a must. In Plano, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. How cute is that? Well, as for the groom's cake, McGrady says caramel banana cake or caramel banana cake was a favorite <laughs> of Prince Harry's as a boy. So clearly the sweet tooth that uh, runs in the family. It there, must, huh? right? We do have you covered on the big day. Live coverage from London starts at 3 a.m. Saturday morning. You get